here at Hilton Head Airport. There's one flight <laughs> flying out of here this morning and it's ours, so good start. Ready for Jamaica. I'm freaking out. We are freaking out. We just got to our hotel room and we're gonna show you, but it's been crazy. Like they're treating us like kings and queens and I can't believe it. So here's a tour of the room. So it starts with our bathroom. Sorry, we've already unpacked a little bit. We are greeted with champagne. Nice, huge, nice shower. Walk out here, big mirror unpacked a bit here's our bed a tub with <laughs> Garrett's already in the pool beautiful view of the water it's absolutely sickening and then we're on our own little private beach like are you are you kidding oh my god it's so sick All private, the pool, everything. Well, the resort's huge, but there's a pool right to our left. And it's epic. Got our lounge. So anyway, it's just been like so freaking cool. They're treating us like we are the president or something. Like literally everything. We got comped a spa treatment. We've got comped a private romantic dinner on the beach. Like because it's our honeymoon and they we like told them and we're in the like excellence club the like nicer club exclusive restaurant exclusive bars exclusive pool rooftop pool like it's too crazy so anyway i'm gonna jump in and join my husband but oh he hasn't been able to open his beer <laughs> it's all for show we're in our bathing suits, and what's the first thing Garrett opens? The M&Ms. Skipped everything, straight to the M&Ms. <laughs> All right, I'm coming in. Okay, ready? Woo! <laughs> We're in the pool. It's like perfect temp, actually, because it's not cold, but it feels really good. it's not like a hot tub, it's like a pool. So, the breeze feels nice. What are we going to do tonight? What restaurant are we going to go to? Man, I mean, Lobster House. Oh yeah, there are so many on the way in though. There's so many, but the Lobster House what called my name. Yeah, that looked really good. Although there's an app to look up all the different options, so we'll look. We gotta go to the spa, book our complimentary Massage and water therapy. Look our dinner in the water. Let's do a chug. Be careful, it's bubbly. Wow. <laughs> it is bubbly. It's bubbly. That was only 7%. It's buble. <laughs> Pina Colada. Enjoy the rooftop deck. Oh, you look really cute there. Yeah. One of 
officially. I would say yesterday was day zero, so it's day one. And we just woke up. Garrett's having a... Club soda. Club soda. <laughs> the mini bar. I'll um, need it for our tonics later. You know, I hope they restock our mini bar. We're going into it. Um, but we're just sitting here lounging, enjoying the view, and getting ready to go out. So I think we're going to get coffee, explore the resort a little bit, and then post up at the pool or the beach or something. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. And then just enjoy the day. We like have given ourselves no plans, which is really nice. So today's just like explore the resort day and see what it has to offer. So I'll try to get clips throughout the day. But yeah, this is what we're looking at right now. Okay, so anyway, last night we, I got some clips of dinner, but we went to, it's called Magna. It was one of the resorts, restaurants, and it was like a French twist, very fancy, like definitely fancier than Garrett in my normal dinner spots. Um, so we were a little intimidated by the menu because everything was like fancy and we didn't really totally know what we were ordering, but we got, what we ended up ordering was fantastic. We got to start, we got a risotto, a truffle oil risotto, and then, um, what else? Oh, calamari, but not the fried calamari. We got like a sauteed and really yummy sauce. It was really nice. And then for entrees, Garrett got a seared ahi tuna steak, which was so good. It was kind of lemony and fresh. And then I got a lamb with mashed potatoes, veggies, and like a really good red wine like reduction sauce. It was just so freaking good. I can't believe we were like blown away by our first meal. So we're excited to keep trying all the different restaurants. There's a bunch of different ones. So um, we'll probably go to different ones every night, but that was a great start and it was delicious. So after that, we just came back home because we were pretty tired and we had been up since like 4 a.m. for our flight. So we were just ready to relax and go to sleep and then have a full day today. So today we're going to explore and it should be fun. Okay, so we got, we're at the little coffee shop, which is back here. Um, it's called Aroma, but it's a cute little coffee shop. They have like pastries, croissants, gelato for later, and we got coffee. So I got a vanilla latte, it's pretty good. And we got like a little breakfast sandwich and then I'm just finishing up some fruit. Um, and Garrett's going to get a second coffee, so. But it's really good. But it's nice to know they have a coffee shop because I like like a specific drink, you know, vanilla, iced, almond milk, coffee, for a latte. And then we're looking out just on a beautiful view, always. I asked Garrett to get us a tasty um, pastry of some sort. So we'll see what, Very excited. what it is. It's so fun. You just walk out with stuff. You don't even, you don't pay, in. obviously. So you yeah. just grab it and you go. Oh no, not a good start. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, donuts. Looks good.
and we went to the pool for a while, then we walked on the beach, and then now we're over here. So this is our last stop, and then we're going to go down for a bit after this, but we had to get the rooftop pool, the best pool, it's so warm. waking up to the sound of the water, peaceful waves. It's another beautiful day. 85 degrees, sunny. Every day we're here, it literally says like 85, clear skies, sunny. So, but we had a great night last night. I, we went to the lobster house for dinner and it was fantastic. We got like surf and turf. The lobster was great. We got another lobster risotto type thing. That was really good. And then we went to the martini bar and then we went home and got into bed and we're starting um season three of that show dead to me so we watched one episode of that and then we were pretty much exhausted because just being in the sun all day really takes it out of you so went to bed at like 10 and then we woke up this morning around 8 a.m and we're getting ready to go garrett's got his new swim trunks on from belk no. Never heard of that store before, but it was in South Carolina. It's Southern Coles. Oh, it's like Coles in the South. Okay. I'm wearing this swimsuit again, just some jean shorts, and then this cute cover up that my friends bought me. Shout out Heidi, Danielle, and Cher. Um, they got this for me on my bachelorette trip, and like it's just so perfect for this trip. So we're gonna go get breakfast, and then we have spa appointments. So should be fun. Ready to. Pool, beach, spa, pool, beach. Eat. Eat. Drink. Repeat. All right, give us a review of the coffee aroma place so far because it's been your most frequented mm. resort spot. It's really great. Iced coffee. It's really a iced um, latte. Espresso, almond milk. Their espresso is good too. I like the coffee. The donuts are very good. The white donut. Yeah. Oh, there, there she is. Thank you. Our girl left before we could tip her, and she's so nice. Yeah. So. It's great. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, wow. This buffet is so nice. I can't, we didn't know this was here. Yesterday, I guess it's only been one day that we missed it, but like they have breakfast and lunch, but like the breakfast is like so good. They have literally everything. I have like a nice green juice that, you're, that I propped my phone up on. I got an omelet and bacon, like freshly made where you put everything in it. And it's just like so yum. And the vibes are so nice in here. It's like light, airy. Uh, so we will definitely be coming here every day. ourselves a nice spot by the beach. Kind of don't want to leave. We have a spa appointment in like 40 minutes, but this is such a prime spot. Smile. All right, guys, here we are. It's Sunday morning under a tiki hut. We're vlogging. I'm already vlogging. Oh, wow.
first spa ever, I think. First massage ever. Why well, did you get my neck down in the night? Cramped up once, but we got a I think panic that's attack. my closest experience. <laughs> We're back from the spa, Garrett's first spa experience ever. How do you review? It's pretty great, very long. A lot of water yeah. aerobics. We were in there for two and a half hours. Water therapy. Yeah, there was an add-on to our package called hydrotherapy, which was, I thought, the most fun. It was like a water thing where you were like, dumped like a bucket of cold water on you. You had to do a cold plunge, a hot plunge, like all these different jets. Sauna, steam room. The swan neck. That yes, my that felt really good. Like heavy, heavy water on your back. At the end, they like did, gave you a scalp massage, and like I would have been happy like just doing that, honestly. Like it was really nice and fun. Right. It was like funny because we were like, it was just like. What's your favorite event from the water therapy? Probably in the pool. The variation of in the pool where there was all these different jets, like the fountain, the bubbles was funny. It was just funny. Like they they took it lighthearted, but they were also calm and like positive about yeah, it. We were laughing. Like this is for your positivity and yeah, there's well being. A positivity light. Thank your body and like <laughs> so it was fun. Yeah. And then we did our couple's massage, which was Garrett's first massage. And I thought the massage was fantastic. Garrett It was good. Over back is nice. Yeah. I'm like all greased up though. You know? Yeah, he's all we're all oily obviously. So well, weird someone rubbing all over your body. <laughs> Gara's like not a person. massage guy, you know. But I thought it was really good. And yeah, now we're gonna go jump in the water and relax. We ordered some pina coladas and first spa appointment check. How's it going? It's great. Having my 39th red stripe. It's really good. His favorite beer of choice. Here we are at the retirement pool. <laughs> Sophie's meditating. There's one other young couple here, but. No. But the sun is on the side. Yeah, the sun is on the side of the island. Or the peninsula. We were on the other side. No sun. There's also a handball game going on in the pool, so we had to move over to the retiree pool. Didn't want to get recruited. Like we got recruited for water aerobics the other day. Which was fun. It was fun, but everyone had to do it. Yeah. We were on beach most of the day, but then it got shaded by the building, so we had to find the sun. So now that you've had some time to reflect, what do you think about your spa today? Really nice. It was one of my best spa experiences, I would say. Wow. Because we got to do it together, so it was funny. Like I know, it was, it was fun weird, laughing was, through. Yeah, like when it was weird, it was more fun. The water we therapy. We on each other at one point. Oh, man, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Literally hold ice and rub it on each other. Yeah, so you walk into this little cube and there's an ice dispenser. And you grab some ice and rub it. Yeah. And then you add like an Yeah, and there's one where one little cube where it was raining hot and then cold water and it went back and forth. With lights. Yeah, that was the positivity light. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was really fun and my massage was great. So I was going to tell you guys about it. It's hard to talk because it's so quiet over here. I do. I don't think they're going to be able to hear because when I whisper, it doesn't go well. But we're going to Spice restaurant or we're gonna try um, the Asian food I think they have sushi and they have a uh, hibachi um, so we'll see how that goes but that's gonna be fun I'm excited we haven't really eaten lunch today because we ate so much at that buffet in the morning so we kind of had big breakfast and we'll have a big dinner we're kind of just snacking for lunch on the grazing on whatever we see but. what was your favorite item at the buffet this morning well I didn't have that many Oh. We ate a lot of the I have like, uh, everything. I had an omelet though, and my omelet was fantastic. Freshly made, fresh cracked egg, like not a pre made egg mix, which always grosses me out. Um, veggies in it, onions, peppers, got bacon on the side, I got a green juice. It's delicious, a muffin. It's 
Christmas. Sounds really good. Tiny Barrett had a whole plate of Jamaican food, like lunch food. Yeah, and a plate of seven different samplings of meats. It was all very good. I don't know what was what, but it was good. And then you had like a French, oh, you didn't get French toast yet. Pancakes, hash browns, like a carb plate. Yeah, the classic American carb plate as my second breakfast. And more coffees. And then an iced coffee brought to the table. Garrett's probably had six iced coffees today. Yeah, had probably. One. I mean, they're unlimited. It's all inclusive. But yeah, we haven't been drinking that much. We've had two pina coladas. First one was really strong. It had, they called a floater, a rum topper. And it was straight rum. <laughs> that was really good though. And then we had another pina colada on the beach while we were in the water. That was fun. Yeah, I think that's my best colada, the rum floater one. Yeah, it was blended the best. Sometimes they're not blended great. This one was blended really nice. Because the one in the, the pool swim-up bar was another really good one that I had. In the nice glass with the pineapple. Uh, right, yeah. Um, yeah, they're definitely getting better, but... And then Garrett we just got a red stripe, which is the only beer that they spit on. <laughs> Yeah, have we, we did, talked about that we haven't in our tried, well, we haven't tried to order anything else. in our ride here. I said, what other kinds of beer do you have? He said, well, we have five different kinds of red stripe. Flavors of red stripe. Flavors of red stripe. So, I haven't seen any other flavors here. I've only had normal red stripe. So, yeah, maybe I'll ask for. There's light red stripe in our fridge. <laughs> Right, I haven't been able to open it the though. I didn't bar, bring my keys. The cool thing about, I don't know if we've said this, but they restock the mini bar every day with housekeeping, so. Right. Get a Coke Zero That's every fun. day. M&M's, Oreos. M&M's and Oreos, yeah. We also have a little wedding hut over here. Let's see if I can zoom in. I wonder if, if there's a wedding here, if you're allowed to use the pool or if it's for their guests only. That would be really cool if you could rent the pool. I feel like you would have to. It would be so weird to be getting married and like having people like us like laying out. The other excellence club pool is a little bit better we think because it's right up against the sand to do. You can go have your chair be like for the beach or for the pool versus here it's less swimmable over here for whatever reason. Or maybe it is swimmable but no one's swimming. Here it's stuffed all these spikes. Got a ton of spiky balls here. stuck Garrett's in my like foot. Few, like, panic <laughs> I didn't even say anything about the first one. But it totally oh, yeah, I got the hot sure sweats. It was gonna happen all the whole time. So. Acid reflex attack. Yep. Had Panic. to go to the bathroom. Called Everything at once. He couldn't. He, <laughs> I was just, he texted just me kneeling at the bottom of the stairs. And then the other one was when he stepped on. That wasn't a panic attack. That was truly just pain. But he stepped on like all these spikies and like he went off bounds. <laughs> We're going off the property. Yeah, my feet still kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, I mean, they were like, I had to pull them out, like, kind of significantly. Yeah, it's like the spiky balls at home that Suki doesn't like. Yeah, but small and longer spikes, less ball, more spike. They were rough. So tomorrow we're paddle boarding. Yeah, so tomorrow morning we're going to paddle board. First come, first serve. Tuesday, we're going to... We're taking the glass bottom boat. Wow. Fancy. Fancy. Um, to the like, local reef. Because we didn't really want to leave the property and go like deep into Jamaica. Like, we just, the local reef. Well, they just said it's on the property. And yeah. I think I've seen the boat go out. But it goes out deep. Right. It takes you to a reef to snorkel. Because we've snorkeled, but only on like the shore. And we've seen fish, but it wasn't like... A, like There wasn't like a ton. We'd see like two fish, three fish, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to do that, which should be really fun. And then we booked our dinner for two. That's all we have planned. One activity a day, Garrett has said. Which I agree with. I don't want, like power packing today. I like having the freedom. Don't want to be stressed out with all the activities. Like, we have one thing, and I like them being in the morning. Like both the things we're going to try to do around like 10 a.m. Because it's fun to do something and then blow up for the rest of the day. This cloud is... Yeah, look at this cloud up here. Can't even see the sun. All 
All right, guys, it's Monday morning. Went on this sweet paddleboard ride. Floated all the way down to the end. And then we had to go back upstream into the below. It was quite difficult. Now here we are, resting. No more activities today. We did secure another. What are these called, Seth? Do you know? Seth, what are these called? A hut. We've been calling them huts, but we've secured another hut today. Come tell everyone where the club. Yeah, come, come give this the exclusive scoop. Got my Aperol spritz. All right, everyone, we got through the gates of the club. Here they have Aperol spritz and free food, even though the food is free. <laughs> free everywhere. food everywhere, but the food's so better. So they brought it to you. And it was so. better. Yeah, it was good. It was like a cute little lunchbox. Yeah. Nice mahogany box of salmon, mm -hmm. um, buttered toast, and. What else was there? Olives? Olives, hummus. Little corns. A little Caesar salad or something. So we've decided we're going to try to get these spots tomorrow up on the sand. That's the, that's the goal. Try to compete with all the old folk waking up early. Yeah, this is, it's a nice pool. It's, um, it's really co like cold and refreshing because the other one is like, was like hot. Just, we just ordered like a ginormous order <laughs> at the Asian place. We wrote it down. Show, show the crowd. It's only 11 mini items. There's our order. We were here last time, which was also very good. We got the middle seats on the best beach. Woke up super early to the bath at 6 a.m. Yeah, it, so it rained this morning, like a lot, heavy rain. So that's why everything's wet. It rained this morning and it just felt like a nice time for a bath. So I woke up and took a bath at like 6.30 a.m. But yeah, oh, I look greasy. Big hair. Hair, big. Face, oily. Chest, burned. Um, but yeah, anyway, so 
like we're happy with our good spot and now we're just waiting for towels and stuff to reserve it and then we're gonna go to breakfast our last breakfast last day Alright, you guys. It started down pouring on us. Can you zoom in on the water? I don't know how much you can really tell, but full torrential downpour. We're kind of loving it because like we don't really need any more sun. We're both sunburned. I probably have to yell. And we're under an umbrella, so we're mostly protected. I mean, I'm getting a little wet, and it's not that cold. It's like a tropical rain, so it's kind of fun. But I am getting a little wet. It was like misting for a while that we were watching the clouds come in, and then it just dumped. But yeah, we're having we're having fun actually. But we're the only we're the only ones out here. No one else thinks this is fun, I don't think. But I love the rain. And it's just peaceful. It's like very zen. Rain on the beach. It's like snow on the beach. Not rain. Anyway, we're trying to take some time lapses to see if you can see um, the clouds move in. So hopefully those are good. And I'll put, I'll put that in the video. All right, it's lightening up. Although we are in the middle of the cloud, like I don't really see, I don't see an end in sight. So this may be our day today. Although it wasn't even on the forecast. There was so no rain. Sunny. Yeah, it said sunny and windy. It's been saying windy, but it's just like a very pleasant breeze. Like it's, the wind is actually great because it's hot and so it feels, feels good. But yeah, all it said today was sunny and windy. So.
All right. Last night, and we we're trying to take a picture, and we cannot. Like, there's no one around, and you know the selfies aren't really working. But high tide. yeah, high tide. So. Our nice romantic dinner. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. I'm feeling oh, so silly. <laughs> so Reality excited. TV. We were saying this is The Bachelor, like one million percent. This is a Bachelor setup. It's like you're gonna propose or something, but we're already married. Okay, we're at a romantic dinner eating some bread and butter. We've got wine, beer, champagne. But there's another couple, or there's another dinner, and there's a professional photographer. <laughs> and he's making them take pictures. And I think we're next. <laughs> and we're ready. <laughs> like he's making them kiss and pose and like hold hands and like set up all these different shots. <laughs> Dying. And there's another couple, but it's a very nice, lovely setup, but, you know. Do I need the professional photographer? I think I need to support the island, you know, pay the guy. Okay. And throw the picture in the trash, you know it's going to be the most mm -hmm. unflattering flash photography, red face, double chin picture we've ever taken, but, you know. Okay, here comes our turn. Gotta go. <laughs> Garrick <laughs> has gotten burnt to a crisp. My back hurts so bad Possibly right now. Possibly has a heat rash. Hiding from the sun with a walk of shame into Aroma, his favorite place. <laughs> He'll be. It's our last day. And well, it, it's over. Like we leave in an hour um, back to the airport, but I just wanted to close out the honeymoon vlog and it was an amazing time. Great memes, super fun. And I'm honestly like, you know, I'm ready to go home. Like I miss Suki and I miss my home, but we never really got bored of it here. Like we really never, I thought by now I'd be like, all right, get me out of here, but great time so it's a really windy day today so it's kind of a good day to leave like the waves are pretty like well they look like nothing from here but it's just it's a little windy so a little different from our absolutely perfect weather before okay as you can see it's time to go all right bye <laughs>